back to my channel and to number two of the 30 day challenge. Right, I've got the dog from him now, so if you're hearing any noises, it's the pooches. It's the pooches. Say hello, Peg. Say hello, everybody. No, get down there. Come on. So we're doing it under the sink. I'm just going to give you a quick look. So I thought I lived a minimal life. It's pretty safe to say that I don't. <laughs> you only have to look under here to see that. But I've bought some new baskets, which are pretty similar to the ones that are already under there, but they're white. And I'm going to put them at the bottom, I think, with all the bigger cleaner stuff in. Peg! And I'm hopefully going to declutter all this because I don't need all this under there. It's packed, like, packed beyond anything. I don't need all that. I don't even know how I've got like that. Like, who needs that many bottles of soft flora? It's overwhelming, but you know what? We're gonna do it. Everything else in my life is so organized, but my wardrobe and under my sinks. Oh no, I've got the utility sink to do as well, but that's gonna be a different video. Empty bottle is going. And I'm just gonna get stuck into it. I'm not gonna ramble on too much. I'm just going to get stuck right in. I'm starting here and then I'm going to work my way along the doorbell. Right. Where was I? <laughs> Back to under the sink. Anyway, I'm going to start it in this corner and basically work my way through all of it. What's going in the bin and what's getting kept. That is a bottle of Zoflora. It's getting binned. The sink will smell nice. That's an empty glass cleaner bottle. And then, I basically want to sort out what's going to go first. There's no point in making all of it. The ones that are at the front are the things that I use. Anything at the back is stuff that doesn't get used. So, let's see. Silip bang, power cleaner, black mold remover. Now, there's a big warning label on it. It's brand new, it's never been used, but it says, serious ionization core skin is do not use together with other products, may release dangerous gases. If medical advice is needed, have the product. You see, it's the size of the warning on that, so that won't be getting used. That is still full because it's the wrong one. I've told Lee to pick up Mr. Muscle's glass cleaner and he's picked up this one, but that's not the one that I use, as you know. That's the one that I use, the green one, which is Windows glass and it's a streak-free shine. So that's going. I used to like that on the floor, but it's just taking up space and that's a really big bottle. So that's going. I will make use of anything that's in here. I'll put it in the drains outside. The likes of the glass cleaner and the silicone bank, I won't. I'm just going to empty them out down the drain. But everything else, my drains outside is going to smell nice, put it that way. That's going to get kept. Obviously, my barkeeper's friend is going nowhere. Neither are my dental sprays. Interior spray, obviously that's going to get kept. But I'm going to put that into one of those. So I'll sort that out now. Mr. Muscles has got to be kept because that's for the kitchen cupboards. It's nearly empty. It's nearly empty. Nearly empty. That is all air freshener. Every last bit of that is air freshener. Poo bags, they stay at the front. Like literally there's nothing in that. Oh. I'm just getting myself more comfortable. I need to be more comfy. So we've got more Mr. Muscles glass cleaner. Obviously I use that on the kitchen cabinet, so I will keep that. That is my favourite, so that can stay there. Can go. I broke the lid on that, so that can go. 
sugar delights. Oh, back and go. Very little bit. Soft cotton, clean linen. It's only got a little bit in it. Know what it is? I take them out when I'm bored of the smell and swap them over for something different and then I never put the ones that I've only got a little bit left in them back. All kind of coconut. All kind of coconut. My Zettel all-in-one spray is staying. They're staying because they make the hoover smell lovely. So I'm going to slide them down there. That's almost full. Oh yeah, that smells like a bowl of fruit, that one. I'll keep that. It's almost empty. I don't like that one. Sponge sugar. It's like a sweet Christmas smell. No, I don't like it. Too sweet. That can go. It's only a drop in there. Wilco. Mystic Moonlight Room Fragrance, Moonflower and White Woods. It smells like furniture polish. And then, it's gotta go. What have you got about three little ones? That one is, I've used it, but it's too small. It's going. That is the Frenchie, it's called Frenchie furniture paint in grey pebble and that has been kept the empty pot because it's what I painted the frames with and it's what I painted the wooden um, oars with in the vase in the corner so that in case anybody wants to know Frenchie that's the paint I used that is a spray bottle for if I want to dilute any off flora and I've not long bought that so I'm keeping that Summer Delights. Now, I must have liked this at some point because that's another full one there, so. Wow, it smells like cookies and sweets. Soft cotton. I do love clean linen smells and coconut smells. Baby Bio's got to stay because that's for my plants. Multi-purpose oil. That's Lee's. I'll throw that away. Then I've got my Three Evolution plug-in refills, which are down the side of the chair in the lounge and in the hall behind the mirrored bars. So they'll stay. Look at all that already. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh. A lid. A princess, I know her. <laughs> She's never far from me. That's my um, acrylic paint that I used on the garden ornaments, so I will keep that. No, that's going. I'm not keeping that. It's basically a sticky stuff remover, but it's going. Going. Two cans of WD 40. Well, that's going, and we'll keep the little one. And a Domestos bleach spray. <laughs> Look how messy it is under there, though. Oh. I'm going to use a little bit of that to clean under there. I don't use this around the kitchen because it's just too soapy and it leaves soap marks on everything. So I'll use it for under here. Excuse me. What are you rooting for? Hey. What are you rooting for? <laughs> well. So, look at it. What do you want this? Do anything to stop me from cleaning up, you know. And off she's gone with it. 
<laughs> my dog is mad. My SD card got full, so I had to come off. I've got two 64 gigabyte SD cards and I can't keep one of them empty. Like, this minimal life's hard. <laughs> so I've put one basket here. I just need to take the labels off. I've bought bigger ones because the small ones just aren't big enough. They're perfect for the bottom. But these are ideal because I can fit more stuff in them. It's just a shame I couldn't stack them up. Because <laughs> then I could keep all this and be like a real hoarder. But we're not doing that. So in the top basket, I'm going to keep everything that I use the most. Which will be, all my Dettol sprays will definitely stay at the front. This Dettol spray will stay that side. Dirt Butchers. Dirt Busters Kitchen Degreaser, which is an oven cleaner, will be staying at the top too. But I'll push them at the back. I need to now work out what I need to keep and what's going to go because I don't need to keep all of it. It's got like a little tiny drop in it, but vanish carpet gold has got to stay. Glass cleaner. Mr. Muscles. I don't need two. I only need one. Which one's got the most in? They've both got exactly the same and so far. I might as well keep them both because I use that a lot anyway. So there's no point in throwing it away. Because I do use that a lot on the kitchen cupboards. And as you know, I've got a lot of kitchen cupboards. You've already ran off with my cloth. Now you want another one. I'm talking to the dog, by the way. <laughs> Not Lee. <laughs> right. I'll put my interior spray in there too. Although, I have to say, I've been using wax melts. I haven't been using them nowhere near as much. So, that's a good thing. Soft floras. I'll keep the animal one and I'll keep the soft flora. Tropical twist. Hello spring. I haven't even used hello spring. That's a nice lemon smell that, so I'll keep that one. Oh, ah. speaking of Hello Spring, is it Hello? Well, I think it is anyway. Carly J Drake, if you're not already following her on Instagram or on YouTube, I'll leave a link down below so you can go and check her out. She's absolutely fabulous. I left a comment for her when we were speaking about the 30 day challenge for decluttering and becoming minimal. I offered her a challenge to both declutter under our sinks and basically collaborate with each other, but I don't want to do the whole, you know, this is a collaboration type of thing. So I would rather just say, Carly, I'm challenging you to clear under your sink, just the same as I am, which means that you're going to have to part with some of floors because we're never going to use them all. So your toilet, your sinks, your grids outside, get it poured down so they all smell nice. I am challenging you to declutter under your sink. So, you can all go and check out Carly's channel to make sure that she has accepted the challenge, which I'm sure she will. She's good fun and she's lovely. She's a mum. She's got two children. She's got Marley and Ava Lily and the dog Maui and Will is a partner and she just does everything. She does cooking, cleaning, lifestyle, vlogging. She does all that. Go on and have a little look and I'm sure you'll hit the subscribe button for her because she's amazing. And she is on Instagram too. I'll leave that link down below. Um, I'm on board of that smell. Linen Fresh, I'm bored of that. That can go down. See the, the grid. Twilight Garden, which Carly doesn't like. But I do like this smell. Yeah, I do like that one. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep that. Very, very. Mm, no. So we're keeping Hello Spring, Twilight and Tropical Twist. I'm pretty sure there's more Tropical Twist under that sink because I'm keeping some... <gasps> One of them baskets is broke. Would you look at that? Home bargains. The basket is broke and I've only just bought it. I took the label off as well, but never mind. We can still make use of it. It just means that I can't pack it tight and this is a decluttering and minimalizing video, so it's not going to be packed to the rafters anyway. <laughs> we have flip flops off today, my feet. Right, 
So we're going to keep soft flora and bin liners can go in there. I'm going to keep soft flora and my barkeeper's friends in that basket. This just isn't comfortable at all sitting on the floor, you know. Right, in this little basket, I've got dishwasher tablets, which I'm going to put into the bigger basket. And then washing liquids, which has only got a little bit in because I don't really use it much. And then the Aldi's Magnum Premium, which is fantastic. And then I've got eight minutes aid. So that can all stay in there. But first of all, we need to get back there. I have filled one bin bag full of rubbish from under here already. I'm going to need another one. Peg, there's nothing here for you. You're just getting in the way. Shout out, Peg, in love. Second bin bag of rubbish from under the sink. This is the life of a hoarder. And you thought I was minimal? <laughs> uh -uh. But if I've learned anything, I have learned that I'm not as minimal as I thought I was. The bedroom. I failed. I drastically failed in the wardrobe. So I've got two bleachers, but to be fair, they don't get used downstairs. They've been bought. Lee's probably put them under there and they're to go in the bathroom. So I'm going to move them because they go upstairs and they want to clean upstairs with. So they're not staying there. Dust sponges always get used and i will be keeping them because i use them on everything so they can go in with the washing liquids this can go in there at the back because i clean the fridge and the washing machine and tumble dryer with method i don't really rate method products though i think they're too soapy enchanted holiday I don't even know what the gingerbread playhouse. No. Do we need that grass seed, love? No. Grass seed. No. The grass is fine. Flash and vinyl trim cleaner. I suppose that's for the car. Babe? Yeah. Do you want your dash and vinyl trim cleaner? Yeah. I knew he'd say yeah. Right, well we need a car care basket. And I'm going to put it there. In fact, this can be Lee and Lee's basket. So they can have the car cleaner, the WD-40, the jar of oil, because I'm sure there'll be more stuff here that will end up in that basket, like, yeah, teacups. That can go in there. A blade. Right, I really want to throw that away, but... I'm going to throw that away, but... Um, it is back on, it's back on and safe, but I'm throwing it away. My carpet fresh is going to stay in that basket, so I'll reach over and put it in and throw that away. That's got like a tiny drop in it, no problem, but a tiny drop. Marigolds in there. Now that is the bowl that they use to wash the car, so I'm going to leave it under there. That's me spare microwave cleaning kit, so that's staying in that basket. More vac fresh. I'm going to put them back there in the car cleaning kit. Floor wipes, going. That is a little Aldi refill in the scent summer days. And I'm going to keep it because it's what I have plugged in on the top of the worktop. So I need an air freshener basket, so I'll probably make that one the air freshener's basket. Flash, going. Sponges can go in there. Brilliant white should be with the laundry and the rat sink. That's the brush that I use to clean my stair carpet with the vanish. So that's going to stay. 
Now that's the car cleaning stuff, so really, I should keep the car cleaning basket in there as well. Back and go. Dishwasher salt. Back and go. And then if you just look at the back there, that's all UPVC cleaners. So, they're going. Because I've got a full one under the sink in the utility. So, we don't need to stay. They should be in the utility. They shouldn't even be there. This is when we put the shop on the way. Butter and overlap adhesive. Bin it. Bright appliance descaler. Kettle iron, coffee maker, shower head. It's corrosive, danger, corrosive. So now that's going. Astonish oven and cool cleaner. It's going. More fat fresh. <laughs> Body tell I own a hetty. <laughs> Shaking back. Going. A plug in. Going. Sensicles. Oh. They smell very like woody and berry, but go on. Now I have the mammoth task of clearing everything away. I need another bin bag. As you can see, I filled three bin bags just from under the sink alone, and it's all going. And that one, because it's not really needed. So, this is how under the sink is looking now. Oh, but do you know what? It feels so much better. So this is my Zoflora and cleaning products. The dog's poo bags, kitchen roll, bin liners, all my disinfectants that I use every day and air fresheners. Bottom is dishwasher care and washing up. Next one is air fresheners. I've got a nice empty basket that I've got no intentions of filling. And then car care and house care. And that is there done. Is it? So it's the blue bins today. A majority of that, I don't even want to empty it down the drains, but these I will. So I'm going to start with clean linen. And I'll... Hey, this thing should smell lovely now.
Right, I think those three bin bags there are going to have to go to the tip. I don't want to put them in the bin because there's just too much stuff in there. And my purple bin, which is household waste, doesn't get collected until next Friday. I'm just going to take it the tip. I've got other stuff to go to the tip anyway. So I might as well just take it there. And I'll take you with me when I go. So, that's that done. So, I know I had cleaning products missing and that is Rituals Interior Sprays. And I found them down this end of the utility and there's another one upstairs which is um, green cardamom because that one's goji berry and I know it's upstairs but I don't quite know how I'm going to part with these because I do love them but I'm thinking about it anyway. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up. This is part two so part three will be tomorrow which will be the utility sink which is where I store all my laundry care and I don't know what we're going to find under there, to be honest. I know there's hand wash and stuff like that, but we're getting there. And that's the main thing. Minimal feels good. Underneath my sink now feels lovely. I just want to go and look at it because it was so cluttered before. And now it's a nice, it's not minimal, but it's tidy. And I'm happy with tidy. I have reduced a lot of stuff in there, which I'm super proud of myself for doing so. It's spurring me on to carry on. Anyway, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.